Hi guys. The first thing that we're going to be doing is from Edward Scissorhands, and it's sort of a synopsis of the entire play. I chose it because for the story of Edward Scissorhands, it sort of shows how differences are beautiful, though not always easily accepted, and usually not accepted very easily. And I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Sugar be taken with the fingers. 
No. Should the napkin remain entirely unfolded, or should the center crease be allowed to remain? <laughs> it is easy to commit embarrassing blunders, but etiquette tells us just what is expected of us and guards us from all humiliation and discomfort. And it's uh, boring, isn't it? <laughs> How about some poetry? <clears throat> there once was an old man from the Cape who made himself garments of crepe. When asked will they tap, he replied, here and there, but they keep such a beautiful shape. <laughs> it's hilarious. Smile. Smile. Right smile. <laughs> you know what, Edward? It's a little early for Christmas, but I have a gift for you. Some hands. You see, the inventor was very old. He died before he got to finish the man he invented. So the man was left by himself, incomplete, and all alone. Hello? Avon calling. Hello? <laughs> I'll just let myself in. <laughs> Understanding, everyone assumed that his difference made him a monster, and it drove him away. It seemed in an instant the town was against him, all but one. Edward? Edward! Edward! 
Are you okay? Yes. Okay. Where is everybody? Out looking for you. I can't. to the top of the mountain where the old mansion was and saw the dead body outside the window. When asked where Edward was, Kim said that they had both killed each other. While she was still in the mansion, she had picked up another scissor hand that the inventor had made to show them as proof. After that day, they never saw Edward again. Sure. But I believe he is. 